Hey guys, it's Paul here, and today we're going to be doing your Wednesday workout, the all over body workout today. Um, so, we're going to be doing a little bit of core, a little bit of legs, and a little bit of upper body. Now, before we start, I thought you might find this useful. Um, if you're sick and tired of looking at your stat watch, then I thought yeah, what you might like to do is if you head over to the iTunes store and look or do a search for uh, Workout Muse, that's M U S E. Um, workout Muse and look for some music with yeah, let's say 50-10 on there and that's just the tempo or the timing that we're going to be working in today's intervals um, so it's a 50 second work period followed by a 10 second rest period and all I do is give you music while you're working out and then I'll give you a different change of music and let you know when you're, you're supposed to rest and then move into the next exercise so instead of having to look at your, your, your stopwatch you can just listen to the music and focus on the exercise it's a great little bit of uh, music that I use in my workouts um, if you can't find that or if you don't want to get that and want to use your own music um, if you've got an iPhone 4 or below there's an app on there on the app store called Workout Muse Pro and you can download that and then what you can do is set the intervals that you want to work for for example let's say we're going to work for 30 seconds on and we're going to recover for 30 seconds okay so that'll be your intervals and then you'll just add or apply the music that you want into that, that, um, that interval period that you're going to be working out for okay so it's a great little bit of kit that you can use instead of using a stopwatch we'll use that in a moment so um, right today's workout we've got five exercises okay we're going to be starting with a reverse plank so all I'm looking for here is working all this posterior chain the hamstrings the glutes the upper back the lower back um, now it's a little bit tricky so I'm going to give you three levels for quite a few of the exercises that we're going to be working on today so the level one would be the basic one which we can start with I'll show you now so what we want to do is get the hands directly underneath the shoulders and the heels directly under the knees and what I want you to do is just push the butt up okay into this position here like a tabletop okay so I don't want your bum too high I don't want it too low I just want it in line with the knees and the shoulders and your head I don't want it to fall back and I don't want it to look up I want it in this nice neutral position you're just squeezing the glutes your ass cheeks as hard as you can all right that's level one let's go to level two so this time we're going to walk the legs out and we're going hey, to take a shot at the feet I don't want the toes to point down like that I want the toes to point up towards your shins and you lift the hips up so the hips are in line with the heels and the shoulders if you used to draw a straight line and your head is not dropping or lifting it in this neutral position that's a little bit harder now let's go to level 3 and what we're going to do here is keep the toes pointing up we're going to lift one knee up don't let the bum drop down keep the bum up and then drop back down keep those toes pointing up lift the other leg up squeeze the knee up keep the body up and then back down opposite side and then back down that one is challenging and you're going to be doing that for 50 seconds with a 10 second recovery as we transition to the next exercise which is this one again I'm going to give you three variations of this exercise starting with a straight arm plank so with this one what we're going to do is get the shoulders over the wrists okay like so we're going to walk the feet out and I want you to squeeze your heels together now I want you to sque squeeze your heels as hard as you can imagine I'm going to try and push my hand in between your two heels and I shouldn't be able to get my hand through I want you to push those heels in as tight as you can the next thing I want you to do in this plank is to squeeze your quads as hard as you can if you feel like your kneecaps are going into the back of your knees you're squeezing those quads as hard as you can and then squeeze your glutes as hard as you can protect that lower back and then the next thing I want you to do is pull the ribs down. Don't allow the ribs to lift up like this and the hips to drop. We don't want that. We don't want to compress our lower back. So keep the hips up in line with your shoulders and your heels, one line. And then pull the ribs down. And your eyes should just look in this space here. Okay? In between the two hands, your eyes looking down. Not lifting up or dropping. We're keeping in that neutral position. So that's level one that we're going to do here. Straight arm plank. Level two, we're, we're going to work on a little bit of hip mobility to bring the leg up to the side and place the hip down the floor so look at this plank position the leg comes up and we put the heel on the floor have a nice little stretch of the hip and then back out up heel on the floor back out up back out up back out don't let these hips to bounce or drop or lift up keep them nice and level so that's level two level three we'll just add we'll do that but we'll add a push up in there as well so back into this plank position leg comes up heel on the floor back out get nice and tight glutes tight quads tight Ribs pull down into our push up, opposite side, heel on the floor, back out, push up, heel on the floor, out, push up. So that's my level three, okay? So that's two exercises down. Your third exercise, we're going to hit the legs now. Now, what I want you to do is uh, we're not only going to work the legs, we're going to work the upper back or the shoulders as well and work on a little bit of posture. So I want you to interlock the fingers like this and don't let them break. Interlock the fingers and place them just behind your head. And don't let them press against your head. I want you to now squeeze the shoulder blades back 
and really switch on your upper back, okay? This is level one. And all we want to do, feet together, is take a step backwards. Let me show on this legs. Take a step backwards, just take a shot of my foot, my back foot. I'm looking for my toe, not my heel. If I put my heel down, I can't bend my back knee. So I'm looking for my toe, and I'm not a lot of weight on there, and I'm gonna lower my back knee down, so this hip, my front leg, aligns itself with my front knee, okay? Hands and shoulder blades are back nice and tight, and then I'm gonna push back up together, keep looking forwards, and then step back with the opposite foot, look for the toe, and back up. Keep these shoulder blades back, step back, down, and up. Step back, down, and up. Okay, so there's a lot going on, a lot for you to remember here, because the legs are doing the work, but we're also keeping these shoulder blades back. Now level two, what we'll do here, is arms nice and wide, Okay, so you're going to make this Y shape, keep the shoulder blades backwards, so just slightly behind your ears, so we're working on pulling the shoulder blades together, keeping this Y shape, not a T, not an I, a Y, and what we do now is exactly the same, reverse on, step backwards, look for the tail, and back up, keep the shoulder blades back, step backwards, look for the tail, and back up. Okay, level three, we'll do the same again. Arms out here, shoulder blades out. If you want to be really daring, hold a couple of light dumbbells out here too. Shoulder blades back nice and tight. And what we'll do, if you've got the space, is a walking lunge. So we'll go left leg, step down, push the feet together. Right leg, step down, push the feet together. If you're gonna have room, turn around. And then we'll go on the opposite side, keep your shoulder blades back. And that's your walking lunge, okay? Now, last exercise, we're gonna do on one side and we'll do on the opposite side, okay? Is a side plank, three levels, starting with level one. What we'll do here is we'll do it on our knees, okay? So I want your elbow directly underneath your shoulder and your knees in line with your hips and your shoulders. So we, again, draw one perfectly flat line between the hips, the knees, and the shoulders. What we'll do here, this is level one, you just lift the side of your body up the floor, like so. Place your left arm just in line with your bottom arm. Hold it here nice and tight, okay? And then what we'll do is the opposite side for our last exercise. Now level two, what we'll do is extend the legs like so, and then we'll lift the body off the floor and just place the hand in front like this. So this will be level two, okay? And then level three, we'll take everything off the floor apart from the feet and the arm, hold up here, and what we'll do now with this top arm is reach it over to touch your right shoulder, okay? And then bring it back to touch your right, the, the back of the right shoulder, okay? So over, like so, behind, and touch the right shoulder. Let me show you from, where can I go? Let me show you from here so you can see the side. So, what my shoulder's doing here, my hand from over top, touch the right shoulder, bring it behind, touch the back of the right shoulder. So, I can a little bit of mobility in the shoulder over here, okay? And get a nice little stretch into the lap. And then your fifth exercise, you roll it over, and you do it on the opposite side. So that's it, guys. That's the day's workout. 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds transition into the next exercise, those five exercises, okay? Play them back if you've forgotten them already. And have about a minute or two water break. Get a little bit of water on. And repeat that for a further two more rounds, so a total of three rounds. Should take you about 15, 20 minutes to complete this workout. And once you've done it, you've nailed it. Make sure you warm up nice and thoroughly beforehand. Get nice and loose, get the blood pumping, and get some mobility going. Give it a go, let me know what you think about it. And one more thing that I want you to remind you guys is if you're struggling with your sleep, I mean, barking dogs will probably keep you up all night, is if you get yourself um, some, let me get, I'll, get, I'll post the link up later, but some Pucker nighttime tea. Supermarkets sell this stuff now. And make yourself a tea pot, about four tea bags in there. Have a couple of cups before you go to bed. It'll knock you right out. You'll have a nice, decent quality night's sleep. Um, and again, guys, it was the workout news for your music. So it'll sound like, let me give you a quick play of this. Um, okay, here we go. So it'll sound like this. You've got lots of variety as well that you can play. Um, it'll tell you when you're working, when, when, when to start, halfway through, when to finish, when to transition. You get the idea. So it's a great little bit of kit. Instead of looking at the stopwatch that you can play some music, guys. Let me know how you find it.